Cool. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the procedural foliage tool. Um, so before we start, I just um, I've made I'm going to make a new scene, and I want it to be uh, available for download. So I've made it very light. So I've just exported the tree from this scene. Uh, foliage trees. It's the Scots pine, so obviously you can take whichever one you want. But so the way you do that, you export it from here. You just right click and you do asset action, migrate, and then you just say save selected. It's going to tell you what it's going to migrate, and then you select the directory of your next project and you click on the uh, content folder, and it will just arrive in there um, like this so we've got the tree here with all the assets so that's brilliant okay so let's just create a new level I'll just take a default one we'll delete this and then I'll also have the starter content and I'm just gonna put a, um, a chair right there in the middle uh, for scale you could put anything else but I've got and I'm going to put it in the center just so, so that I know where we are zero okay cool so now create a landscape uh, you can zoom out of there that's massive. Massive landscape. I guess, you know what, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to try it like this. Okay, create. So we've got a massive landscape and I'm just going to put a bit of noise on there. Huge brush. Um, noise scale, I'm going to it a bit bigger okay, I'm gonna make the brush even more massive I can't um, and the strength half of that okay just so that we don't have it totally flat true okay and I think I have uh, there was a material in there that was pretty good ground grass I mean I need to go back in the you know procedure landscape material was it the grass? Okay, let's just do the grass. Okay, maybe I've done it way too big. But let's see. We'll change it if we need to. Okay. There's a way to get rid of these lines, but I can't remember what it is. So uh, I'll per well, I'll show you. I'll carry on now, and then. I'll try and tidy this up at the end. Okay, so what I'm just going to create them at the top. I'm just going to create, so add new miscellaneous um, procedural foliage pan spawner. Spawner. Uh, procedural foliage spawner. Okay. Um, so I put that in the scene. And then I'm going to scale it um, to make a massive forest. Okay, and I hope this is going to work with on my laptop because it looks like it's going to be quite big. But oh, okay. So. We're going to put loads of procedural trees on here. So 
what we now need to do is create a foliate type actor and here we're going to assign it the tree that we've imported okay so that's that and now in the foil spanner we add an element and that element is the new foliage type that we've done okay that I should have renamed to something rename foliage uh, type tree okay right so we've got that one here great so now we select our uh, residual foliage spawner and then the settings in here and click we simulate we simulate and we've got a very dense forest Um, so, so collision radius, I guess, is going to be, yes, that seems to be the one. So to change the, the density of our forest here, so we could, that's much better to start with. Um, what I might just do is just increase the scale and see how big we can go oh yeah also um, I'm just going to add a skylight here because we've got our very dark shadows um, and I'm going to scale this up again quite a lot and we're going to have uh, Much denser forest. Resimulate. Right, look at that. So we've got some LODs over there. So then, yeah, it's like Fangorn, really. Um, my noise was a bit too strong. Um, but it works. So if you, if you wanted to add some elements, we could add some trees here. So you just create new foliage types and different trees and um, I mean I haven't really gone into much detail how to uh, I guess it's the in the foliage type what all these clustering average spread distance um, ground slope angles pan pitch angles all, all this which is going to control the you know the angle that these go at which is quite unrealistic at this stage right now can grow in shade so it was really interesting there's a um, video by Unreal where they describe how they use this in that big open world demo and um, you can watch that and they they go through the history of how you know what they were trying to achieve rather than just to put parameters like spread variance and uh, distribution seed and things like that um, number of steps it's more of a grow simulation of foliage growing rather than just to kind of say you know scale and density and um, randomness and stuff like that it's, it's not just randomness it's also rules of nature you know so that's what they were trying to emulate and um, yeah I look forward to spending more time on that and I hope you do too great so I hope that's helpful and um, any comments leave comments below and please subscribe and share and um, if you're interested in the course check out the links below any questions email me and um, I hope you enjoy the procedural foliage tool all right, see you next time.